question, which I, this is the only problem I got of most interview. The only problem I say I got. I know we all <clears throat> over the spot with this shit, but this is the only thing I got a problem with her interview. Her and the Kevin Hart tape. I listened to the Kevin Hart and Monique Joan on com. It's called Comedy Goldmine. It was uh, um, Kevin, Hart Kevin Hart's podcast. I listened to that episode when he had Monique on. And he did say, he said, Mo was like my mother, whatever. She took care of me on the set of Soul Plane. She looked out for me. She, you know, she you helped me out. And he said, Mo, anything I can do for you, I am going to talk to these people for you that you had to be for Tyler Perry and all this. I'm going to talk. And if they don't help you, Mo, I will work with you. Boom. Mo says the same thing on Club Shay Shay. She repeats it verbatim. She said, go back and listen to the episode I did. Mm-hmm. Then he reaches out to them, to the people she had beef with. They say they don't want nothing to do with her. She was trying to launch a, a show, so Kev said, you know what? They don't want to work with you. Mo, I hope you get the show done. Mo says, cool. She says, two weeks, you know, t- two weeks go by. Kevin gives her a check because he knows her financials is fucked up. Mm-hmm. He gives her a check like, yo, you fucked up financially. He didn't say you had to repay. He just handed her the check. He ain't asked for the money back. He just handed her a check. Mo said, Mo said she didn't mm. want to feel like she owed nobody. Gave him the check back. With, With interest. interest. Bang. No problem. In the process of them getting to trying to get the show done, Kev's manager steps in and says, Kevin Hart, you know, the company called that she was trying to work with, said, hey, Kevin Hart doesn't want to work with you. His manager said he doesn't want to work with you. She calls Kev up. Kev said, that's not true. Get what I'm saying? That's not true. I'm going to get back to you. Mo says she ain't hear from the nigga in two years. Me personally, if a nigga gave you money and looked (laughs) out for you. I'm going to say the same shit. You should not be going on there to go shit on this nigga after he done looked the fuck out for you. That was he, some fuck. That was some fucked up, foul, goofy shit. He ain't help I, her out the way she wanted him to. Yeah, <laughs> I don't expect Kev. If Kev said, "Yo, I gotta pay for my family, Mo. I can still give you checks and shit like that and help you out when you would need." I can't go against these people that can blackball me. I just can't fuck with you. You hot right now. You making it hot. hot right That's now. just like. That's right. just like Kev is my Kev's my man. Throw him under the Kev's bus, Kev. In, yeah, all the way. Whatever. <laughs> okay, Dre. Whoever. Dre's Y'all in the man. street. Dre's my man. Dre's in the street. He's hustling. He's doing wild, crazy shit. He's whatever. I'm. He's not. But I'm making my money over here. And I say, Yo, Dre, here, boom. Take this money. You got fucked up because you was fucking around the streets. You go back to what's getting you hot. Now niggas is looking at me. I have to essentially. Cut you the fuck off to get you up out of here. I can still help you out. She shouldn't have done that. Go ahead. So, well, I was I was already just reacting to what you were saying because I agree wholeheartedly. I think this. I think as a, I just was speaking about this. It's so funny with people. People are funny because character is a thing, right? Mm-hmm. People will brag about your character. Right. You're the type of person to do this. You're the type of person to do that when you do what they want you to do. The second you don't do what they want you to do, somehow you're just your character is the total opposite. Mm-hmm. Right. Like, oh, I, I helped you out. I called these people. I gave you money. I did all this and all that. But because I don't want to jeopardize my fucking super duper meteoric rising of a career that is a once in a lifetime, not even once in a lifetime, once in millions of lifetimes chance for me to create wealth for my family i don't want to jeopardize that because they said they won't work with me if i'm working with you sorry but i did do everything else i could do so now my character you can bash my character because i didn't do that other thing you wanted me to do you know what you can do though Mm -hmm. you can suck a big dick and and that's what you can do and (laughs) that right there hearing what monique gotta say that's the one thing that has me looking at her like, yeah, I want to go to fucking bat with you for you. But on the other end, you seem like really like a fucked up ass person. Because the moment I tell you no is the moment you start shitting on me. That kind of that part of the interview kind of fucking was like, yo. Turns your opinion. 